there are some things that I am absolutely terrified of. Absolutely terrified. And I think you might be able to relate with me on this one. Hey, it's HJ, and I cannot be the only one with crazy fears, like a lot of them. Like, afraid of a lot of things for no reason. Mostly no reason. Some things, all the reason. All the reason. Hubby. Yellow. Hello. Hey. What are you doing? Shooting a vlog. Like you're in the middle of it right now? Yeah, like I just answered the phone right now. Okay, well, I'm on my way home. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay, bye. Bye. Let me tell you something. I used to love the beach. I used to love the beach. Okay, I was that girl with her little, my boogie board, that's what it's called. Y'all remember boogie boards? They're like surfboards, but boogie. My mom's like, you can go as far as you want as long as you can see my head. I'm out so far. First off, mom, why did you let me go that far out? Second off, I wasn't afraid of nothing. I was just having the time of my life like a mermaid until I meet my husband. The first time ever that he meets my mom and my little sister, we go to the beach, which I did not know that he doesn't like the beach. I guess we never had this conversation. He sits on the sand the entire time, chilling. He will not go in past like right here. And I'm just like, what is your problem? And he goes, I'm just really afraid of sharks. Da -dun -da -dun. He has put this fear on me, all of his stories about like, sharks can be in two feet of water, and they can drag you under, and all this crazy stuff. So I don't know what I would actually do in the water, because I haven't been in the water since I've had this fear of sharks. I don't know what I would do. I like lakes and rivers better anyways. All right, another thing I'm afraid of, Okay, first off, shout out to the people with melanin in their skin, like a good amount of it. The tan people, the dark people, it's beautiful, all of it. Do you see this? Me and my hat are blending in. The only reason you can tell that my hat is not my skin is because of my hair. I am white as snow all the time. I am so white and everybody wants to be tan, right? Because tan is like, oh, it's so pretty to be tan. And I am so afraid of tanning booths. Not in the sense of being afraid like in one use or two use. Here's what I'm really afraid of, okay? I'm afraid that I'm going to stay coming to this tanning booth and then I look like this lady. Nobody wants to look like that. She didn't even want to look like that. Look, this is what she looks like now. She got the memo about tanning booths. And you really can look at a young lady and see that she's been tanning. Like, you can tell people's skin really get leathery and wrinkly the more they tan. And it's kind of sad. So I just stick to, like, that rub-on tanning stuff. That stuff's the bomb. If you get an expensive one, it's good. Okay, another thing I'm super afraid of is needles. Okay, there is no reason that something should be going in my body at an angle. It's not even that it hurts. Because getting your blood drawn doesn't hurt. If you think about it, it's just the fact that there is sharp metal purposefully going into my body at an awkward angle. That's not right. When I was a little girl, I remember I broke my arm on the like monkey bar dome thing. I was doing this flip and I fell with my arms like behind my back like this and I fell down and somehow I broke my arm like this. This was my bone. Break, break. This was my arm. And so you just see a V in my arm. I remember going to the hospital and I remember them pulling out a needle and I was like, no needles, no needles. Like screaming, screaming, screaming. And my mom's like, would you rather have a broken arm or would you rather have a shot right now? And I was like, broken arm, broken arm. Like bawling my eyes out. Okay, I don't like needles. I don't know how much of that story is just me remembering it as a kid and how much of it was real, but I'm pretty sure that's the way the story goes. And the funny thing is I have, how many tattoos do I have? One, two, three. Four, five, four, six, and seven. Oh, so, okay, yeah, seven. I remember they all are now. I have seven tattoos, and that's fine with me all day. Like, give me a tattoo, put the little thing. It's just ugh, taking my blood and the little slanted needles. I don't like all that. That's gross. Ugh. Ugh. No, pause. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that. I put out videos on Tuesday and videos on Friday, twice a week. So, yeah, hit that subscribe button. I am afraid of my house being broken into in the middle of the night. I'm like for real afraid of it. Roman sleeps with a machete, okay? The only reason we don't have a we don't have a gun in our house is because we don't actually have like our gun license. As a little girl, I have 
I grew up in Houston, Texas. Okay, Houston is crazy insane. I've, people have tried to kidnap me in Houston when I was a little girl, like that white van thing, that's real. And when I lived in Houston, we've had people break into our house when we're not there multiple times. And we've had people like posing as people selling timeshare. Another one was like a cable thing, trying to like aggressively get into our home while it's just me and my mom there, nobody else. This is when I was in the fifth grade. Uh, that specific story, the timeshare one. And he's heard a beating on the door. Just let me in, let me in. And I'm not being over dramatic. Like, I've had some crazy stuff happen to me in my life, and I'm just for real paranoid. Every night we're laying in bed, I'm like, Did you lock the door? I'm thinking of all the exits. Like, I have a I have a game plan for how to exit my house. I have a taser. Like, I'm ready to go. I will tase you and run out of one of my designated exits if you try to come into my house. So don't even try me, okay? I am actually really afraid of driving. I do it out of necessity. I had a like T-bone collision, driver's side. So if it would have been like two more feet my way, it would have hit my door, impact. That was crazy and my car was totaled and it was a giant Ford F450 hitting my small little car. Rest in peace. I had that car for like three months and then it got totaled. And I couldn't drive actually after that for like a few months. Hey babe, come here real quick, hurry. What are you wearing? What? Roman, what are some things I'm afraid of? Um, getting scared. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. You're scared of losing Evie? Oh, little Evie. Yeah, because she almost died one time, choking herself out on that string. She was sitting there with the string double wrapped around her neck like, <sighs> Evie almost died. You almost died, Mama. What else am I afraid of? I don't know. You're a scaredy cat. Okay, that's enough. I don't need any more from you. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Whatever. You're so afraid of sharks. Yeah, but when do I ever see them? Uh, that's true. Not a shark in the face. Okay, bye. So if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. What are you afraid of? I want to know. Put it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post twice a week. I try to do on a Tuesday for my encouraging vlogs and then on a Friday for vlogs like these, which are just like my random life shenanigan vlogs where I just talk about whatever and have fun. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.